What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? You ready? Are you ready? That's what's in the box, Mom. I think she loves flowers as much as I do. Hey guys, welcome back to my vlog. Before we jump into my tough topic of the day, which is Alzheimer's, dementia, and extreme sleeping patterns, I wanna take a quick second to give a shout out to Vanessa Smith, who was the 300th person to share last week's vlog that I did about my mom's dog, Cookie, and how when my mom started making some weird financial decisions, that should have been a red flag that something was going wrong. I wanna let you all know out there how much I appreciate your shares, your likes, your comments, all of your feedback. It makes me feel connected and it makes me feel like I'm not alone in this journey. I wanna pay it forward to someone out there, so I have a gift that I'm gonna give away at the end of this video, so stay tuned to hear more about that. Let's get to the tough topic of the week, which is those sleeping habits. I can tell you from my experience, I have seen both ends. Before her diagnosis, we saw some changes in sleeping patterns, definitely for sure. She went through a period of time where she barely slept at all. Like her mind was constantly racing all the time. She couldn't focus on one thing. My mom was seeing a psychiatrist at that point. We decided to try changing some of her dosages. And fortunately, that did seem to help my mom get a little bit more rest. Medication is not for everyone, but it's something I think to consider and to talk with your doctor about about because it can perhaps help. Fast forward to now, I have the complete opposite problem with my mom. She sleeps all the time. It's not uncommon for her to be awake for maybe an hour or two a day. At the beginning of this stage, I spent a lot of time asking the question why. How is it possible that she could sleep all day and still be so tired? It's taken me a long time to get to the place where I've realized that I need to stop asking all these questions and start listening to my mom and letting her leave. But I've come to the place now where I realize that my biggest job, my biggest role right now is to try to give my mom as much comfort and as much peace as I possibly can. I would love to hear what your experience has been with sleeping patterns and Alzheimer's and dementia patients. So you can comment down below. You can also share some of the tips and tricks that maybe you've used that have helped with your loved one. Okay, now it's time for my giveaway. So at the beginning of this video, you saw me opening up a box that is called a Bloomsy Box. I want to send one of you out there a Bloomsy Box. A little ray of sunshine, because we all know that this job is really tough. All I'm asking you to do is go visit my website, caregiversconnect.com and sign up for my email list. I'll randomly pick a winner from that list and send you a little ray of sunshine. I always say to myself every morning, be strong, be present, be grateful, and that's how I always end my videos. So I hope that for you. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you next time.